Hello everyone! Welcome back to Word Wednesday. I'm Zsa Zsa and you're watching Zsa Zsa Live. Thank you so much for tuning in to our final episode of the month for Word Wednesday on the topic of temptation, how to resist temptation and overcoming temptation. So today's topic of discussion is on obedience and forgiveness. So whether we're resisting temptation or overcoming temptation, it's very important for us to keep our sights on Christ and to follow Christ's commands. And we see in Galatians chapter 5 verse 16, it says, but I say, walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. And then we see in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. By following Christ's commands, his commands are like a road map and it tells us the direction that we should go. It gives us the path of which we should take. So this really helps us in resisting temptation because we've already learned that Christ is not the one that's tempting us. It's the devil that tempts us. First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 where it says, No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. And then in James chapter 4, verse 7, it says, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So what does that tell you? That tells all of us that we already have the power to resist the devil. God has given us that power. All we have to do is exercise it. Yes, we all have moments of weakness, and yes, we all fall short of God's glory, but we don't need to beat ourselves up about this, and we don't need to feel guilty about it. You know why? Because in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And then in 1 John chapter 2, verse 1 and 2, it says, My children, I am writing this to you so that you will not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate who pleads our case before the Father. He is Jesus Christ the one who is truly righteous. He himself is the sacrifice that atones for our sins, and not only our sins, but the sins of all the world. I just, I just gotta say amen to that. Yeah. That's all I can say is amen to that. So this concludes our very last Word Wednesday episode on temptation, how to resist temptation and overcoming temptation. I certainly hope that this episode and that this entire series is a source of inspiration and encouragement and a blessing to you. It certainly is a blessing to me. The more I study God's Word, the more understanding God gives me of His Word, and I'm just so thankful, and I'm so happy to share this with all of you as well. So you'll have to stick around for next Word Wednesday to learn what our new topic of discussion is going to be for the month of July. I cannot believe it's already July. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much again for tuning in to Word Wednesday. I'm Zsa Zsa, and this has been Zsa Zsa Live. And I hope to see you again next Word Wednesday. Be blessed, everyone. And that one thing Bye -bye. is this. My God that lives within my heart loves me very much. He lifts me up when life storms are blowing me down.